Hey everyone, Canadian Ride 705 here. Just wanted to do a quick video today on what happens when you drop your Indian Scout or Indian Scout bobber. Um, more generally, I guess what happens when you drop your bike. Um, now I'm guessing you're probably looking at this video because uh, you anticipate dropping your bike or you want to know what would happen if you did. It's usually the type of thing that a new rider would research. Um, and the reason why is because new riders are pretty much guaranteed at some point to drop their bike. One of the major reasons uh, that people recommend a new rider start out with a cheap used uh, small bike is uh, for safety. Because if you start with a smaller bike that doesn't have a lot of power, you know, the idea is that you're not going to hurt yourself too badly if uh, something goes wrong. Um, but the other reason is that if you drop it, uh, and you know, some people say when you drop it, uh, because it's it's going to happen, uh, the damage uh, won't really upset you too much. It's not like you're dropping a forty thousand dollar bike. So um, keeping that in mind, when I got my first bike, which was only just uh, this this year, this previous summer, uh, two thousand eighteen, I, I expected that I was going to drop it at some point. Now I've been lucky. I haven't dropped my bike uh, myself. I've come close uh, a couple of times to laying it down, uh, but I didn't. Um, but uh, on the other hand, I have lent it uh, to three different people, uh, trying to give people lessons, uh, trying to you know just let them try it out. And uh, for whatever reason, uh, they ended up laying the bike down. Now, in all, all these cases where I almost did, and these three other people uh, managed to lay it down the bike was almost stopped uh, or it was stopped every time and that is actually the most likely time to drop your bike which in, in a way is good because it means you're going to do the least amount of damage um, but what it also means to me is that the reason people are dropping the bikes is because uh, the control on the bike uh, the controls and how to handle the bike are not second nature in some cases it's just that specific bike itself you know, as soon as you uh, get into a strange situation, say you stall it going uphill or whatever, you got to turn, you don't really expect to. Uh, if you get that sort of deer in the headlights look, you're likely to lay that bike down. And uh, every time my bike has been laid down, uh, it's been exactly that. It's been confusion uh, on the part of the person riding it just before uh, the bike ended up laying down or before they ended up getting thrown off because they let go of the clutch and uh, you know they were stopped and let go of the clutch just trying to uh, instead of putting their foot down just out of confusion so um, you know it's unfortunate but that's that's what happens so I've taken some video I've laid down my bike on purpose uh, to show you what actually happens uh, there you can see me riding, riding in there and there I am look at that legend okay and uh, I'm just gonna get off the bike and I'm gonna lay it down uh, on its right side uh, so that you can see the scout, will, uh, the modern scout from 2015 on, uh, the computer will actually identify that the bike is uh, laying down and it will cut off the engine. It automatically turns on the hazard lights, uh, which is an amazing, awesome safety feature. It's exactly what you want to happen uh, if you do crash that bike. You want it to be flashing and, and you want the lights to stay on so that anybody coming up uh, behind you eventually will, will see it and it will stick out like a sore thumb. Um, and as well, uh, because it uh, shuts the engine off itself, it actually lights up a little uh, triangular light on the odometer, uh, which is called the, the chassis fault uh, light or indicator. It's yellow and I got it in the footage there. There you go. So uh, that's what it looks like immediately after it lays down. Uh, in terms of the damage that's done, the Scout is surprisingly resilient uh, to being dropped. And I, I believe that it was designed that way on purpose so that, uh, you know, new riders aren't going to be very unhappy when they do drop it and they have to come back in and spend thousands of dollars uh, to get simple stuff on it fixed again. Parts for bikes are very expensive. So um, generally speaking, the, the turn signals and the other parts of the bike are, I'm not going to say they're meant to be dropped you never want to drop your bike not on purpose uh, but uh, the least amount of damage is done to them when you have it set up the way that the the factory sells it so uh, the turn signals you know they're, they're a little bit bendable uh, from the factory 
Um, if you look at uh, some footage that I have there, you can see when it lays on its right side, um, <clears throat> it actually ends up resting on the, the, the side bag that I have at the back there and on the exhaust on the two pipes at the back. Uh, they hold the weight of the bike and then as you move up the bike, uh, the foot peg on the right side and also the, the brake levers, uh, both on the handlebar, the handlebar itself and the, the foot uh, brake lever for the rear brake, uh, they're all touching the ground. Um, now, if you lay it down on the left side, uh, and you, I think you can see it in uh, one of these videos, I don't focus on it exclusively, but you'll see my, my clutch lever is actually broken. And that is from the last person that laid the bike down. It is actually uh, a bit of a feature of the bike that the clutch lever is meant to break uh, if it ever hits the ground. And the reason for that is, is because if the clutch lever stays as one piece, and the bike hits the ground and say it hits the ground with some good force, um, it could get sort of wrenched off the bike. You'll end up losing your clutch lever, have it damaged so bad you can't use it. And you cannot ride your bike without the clutch. So, uh, you know, you don't want to be stranded in the middle of nowhere uh, if you laid your bike down and you happen to be okay. Um, so that's the sort of a safety feature they have. Um, the only other part of my bike that has ever been damaged, uh, I believe is the mirrors. I have some of the underslung mirrors that the bobber tends to come with. Um, because it has the mini ape hanger handlebars, it's got the mirrors that come up. Um, so the one on the right hand side, um, it, it, and oddly enough, you know, I think it's even, it might even be a design uh, for this reason, but when that mirror gets hit, it just loosens, like all of the, the uh, attachments on it loosen, and it ends up just hanging off the bike. Um, but it has hit the ground a couple of times, uh, and because of that, it's sort of scratched up on the back. It was actually Probably the most damage to the bike, aside from the clutch lever, um, is, is just this mirror getting a scratch on the plastic backing. So I fixed it with some uh, black spray paint, um, only because it's a plastic part, and you know the alternative is just to order another one. Uh, but I tried doing that, and it looks good as new. Nobody would ever really notice there's anything wrong with it unless I point it out. So there you go. There you have it. Um, yeah, the only thing I can recommend uh, to avoid laying down your bike is, and, and this is my own personal opinion, but I believe the reason it happens is that it's not that people don't know what they're doing. I mean, we all get our bike and practice with it, practice your starts, your stop. When you're new, you can know all that stuff and you know that you know it. So you can go out and ride your bike and you're okay, well, I know how to do this, I know how to do that. And I've done it a bunch of times. But there's a big difference between knowing something and having it be reflex in an emergency is it still reflex they haven't done it enough that it's muscle memory that it's just automatic reflex so the only thing i can recommend is when you're confident with your new bike and you feel like you're all right to uh, take it and start riding you know like on the roads in traffic whatever don't take some extra time take an extra day take an extra week whatever you think it takes so that you get bored with doing your stops and your starts and your turns at slow speed and your circles at slow speed and getting off the bike and braking and having the bike stop and lean to the left so that you can put your foot down. Practice all of that over and over and over again. That's the, the only thing that will stop you uh, from having a serious problem when there's an emergency is just making all of that reflex. And uh, I hope that all of you uh, try out the Indian Scout. I absolutely love it. And uh, if it is your first bike, uh, I think you made a great choice. So if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the video. And I hope this was helpful. I hope that gave you an idea of uh, what to expect. But at the same time, you never have to go through dropping your bike. It's not fun.